So what if I told you that you can make beats that sound like the Sega Genesis? Well, you can. What is going on guys? So I've been waiting a long time for this day. No capping at all whatsoever. We finally got a plugin that is actually good that actually sounds like the Sega Genesis and it is made by Infonic and it's called the RYM2612, which is a play on words of the sound chip that was in the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, wherever you're from, called the YM2612, which was a chip made by Yamaha. Now, the closest thing that I ever heard to it was the Yamaha DX7, but yet, you know, the price, yes. But now everybody can use this, even the people that use Propeller Head Reason, which had a head start on us anyways. Let's see it. So the first test, I'm just gonna go ahead and play two beats that I made with it and let you judge if you like it or not. So let's do that. Let's go. Let's go. So yeah, I made another track with it, of course. Let me show you that one. So one of the things that might turn people off about the GUI of this is that it's pretty small on a 1080p screen or a 1080p resolution on your laptop. So you can change that. You can change it to any size that you want. Uh, mind you, that is not very high definition when, it, when you do that, but otherwise you can still do it and it's fine for right now. I got a basic patch here. I've been messing with it a little bit and one of the things I want to point out that's important is the algorithm. So the algorithm is important because it's how the operators are ordered. So you can have it like this right here where it's vertical and that yields a certain tone. If you change that, then listen to the tone now. You hear that the tone changes and then again, the tone will change again and so forth. Ooh, that was loud. <laughs> and so forth uh so another thing that i think is really good is the dsc prescaler which allows for a lot of aliasing and stuff like that which is very common in fm synthesis in the ym 2612 which makes it unique uh so i have it on five right near here the algorithm so what i'm gonna do is fire off a key on my keyboard and at a low velocity and if I just press just a little bit harder on my keyboard, the velocity changes and the, the sound changes itself, which gives a unique sound every time. So that is pretty unique to that. Uh, another thing that I want to show you is the different envelopes that it has. So a lot of the envelopes that they have in here that's available do affect the sound, of course, just like any EDSR, and then you can play with uh, any of these parameter knobs. And you can hear the no and you can actually hear the, the shape of the sound go through the envelopes. Uh, 
Uh, one of my biggest gripes about this probably will be the fact that it doesn't have any other modules on here. Like when I say modules, I say like maybe like a sequencer module uh, or an impigiator of some sort. But you know, in your DAWs, especially in FL, which I'll link you at the top right of the screen to my tutorial on how to make ARPs or in Ableton where you can just go into your MIDI effects and pull up your ARPs. So you can go in there and I'll show you where it's at, right where I'm in Ableton. And you can pull up your arpeggiator right there. So it's good in both of these DAWs, but it might be difficult for anybody in any other DAW. So other than that, you know, that is my gripe about it. Also, no delay, no reverb or anything like that. But I think they focus all of their DSP code into just the actual sound itself and this main part. So I get where they're coming from when it comes to this plugin. Also, there are a crap ton of presets. Uh, one thing I want to say about the presets is that they are all over the place, but you do have the search engine here where you can type in lead and find your leads and stuff. So let's hear some of those leads. The sounds are velocity sensitive, by the way, and that plays a huge role in FM synthesis, especially in with the Sega Genesis sounds. So again, a tip is just type in like, if you need a lead, type in lead. If you need a bass, type in bass. If you have a pad, type in pad. And that will help you out in that regard of like finding the right sound that's good for you. Again, it would be nice if it had reverb built into it, but then again, you can use it reverb in any of your DAWs. A lot of DAWs have great stock reverb plugins, so that's eh, not a biggie. So what if the sounds aren't enough? So, well, you're in luck because you can do some really sick stuff. And I really don't want to show people this. You can get more sounds if you do this right here. So the link will be in the description box to the two websites here. I saved it for this part for a reason. Uh, anyway, so, Go in here, you go to Infonics website, you can download RYM Cast for free, and then you have a VGM player. So what is a VGM? It's a pretty much a file that you can get from a specific website. Now with that, uh, I've already downloaded my few, obviously, because I'm a scumbag. And here's the site right here, which is sofar.net. Again, the link will be in the description box. You can download whatever, you can preview the sounds and whatnot. <laughs> You can even download them all as MP3, but at downloading the original music file, which is the VGM that's ripped from the Sega Genesis will work and suffice. So anyways, I just wanna go ahead and I'm gonna pull up the DAW again. I'm gonna pull up uh, this folder here, and this is when I'm gonna pull up this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up RYM Cast, and then I'm gonna pull in a sound from Alien Soldier which is one of my favorite video games for, on the Sega Genesis. And I'm gonna drag and drop it into the player. 
Now the player right now has the, the actual song from that video game. So I'm gonna play that again. I gotta play it from the top because I'm a genius. And go back from the If you pause it, you can just drag that particular sound into that. <laughs> if you if you drag and drag it into the plugin itself, it will have that sound. And now you stop it just so you can stop that sound or stop sounding like it froze. And here you go. Of course, that's not really a, a sound. It is a, a blurp. So let's use a better example. So I'm going to go up here to the title theme and I'm going to go ahead and drag that over into here into the RYM cast. And then now that is when we're going to see something cool. You got to wait for it to calculate and all that is going to say not responding or whatever. <laughs> Who cares if it's janky? It works. <laughs> now that it's paused, I'm going to go ahead and drag it over here. Boom. And now I'm going to stop this. And now I'm going to mess with the sound. Yeah. 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 You guys are going to clown me in the comment section and say, man, your name is Trap Tendo. Don't you like Super NES and Nintendo games and all that? Yes, I do. But the Sega Genesis has some of the dopest OSTs. So, so get the clowning in the comment section. Go ahead. The cons, I think it's a little wonky at times, but that was with the very first version. I bought this day one when I saw it and then they had an update. So I gradually updated to it and then it improved as far as its performance. The CPU usage is pretty darn decent. And I know that's not a con, but it's not low CPU like they say on the website. But other than that, who gives a damn? Do I, Do I give this, this the stamp, stamp of, of approval? 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 Yes.